In this lesson, we'll be adding a probing location to our soft jaw. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to create a counter bore to be used for G54 probing. Let's carry on with the file from our previous example and let's add a little bit more detail to our soft jaw fixture. So last time we made the geometry that's actually going to hold our link part using our soft jaws. But now what I want to focus on is how we're going to create a coordinate system on the soft jaws so that way we can have a repeatable location to both program the finishing toolpath for our link part, but also find the location of the soft jaw in general. Now in a lot of cases when we have a floating jaw and a fixed jaw, we'll use the back left corner of the fixed jaw as the location for G54 when we're programming a part. However, with this file, we don't have a back left corner of the upper portion of our file. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a small counter bore that can be used as a probing location to pick up on this part. So I'm going to take a look at activating the front soft jaw part. I'm going to select this top face and create a sketch. Now inside of here, everything is symmetric based on the location of our link and the location of the soft jaw. So I'm going to use my line tool and I'm going to draw a line from the midpoint of this upper edge to the midpoint of this lower edge. And then I'm going to hit escape, select the line and convert it to construction. Then I want to create a circle and I'm going to create the circle at the center point of that line. And I'm going to make it a half inch diameter. Now rotate this around, finish my sketch and create an extrude. So I can pull this down a distance of minus 0.125 and now I have a G54 probing location. What this means is when we insert this into a mill that has a probe, the probe can find that location and set up my G54 coordinate system based on it. Now I'm going to go back and activate my top level. And I'm going to bring my link back. So when we set up the program to finish off the link, we have to machine off the backside of the stock that was used initially to create it. So when we finish it off with those last couple toolpaths, we'll make sure to set up our G54 location. X and Y will be based on the center point of this hole and Z will be the top of this face. From here, I'm gonna to navigate to a view that's isometric to this part and I'm going to save my file before moving on to the next step.